Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What is the record set destination and where do we need to use this one? So uh, consider this one. We have this scenario where we have a file with some email addresses, subject and body. So this uh, email, this file is uh, generated on daily basis by our business users or uh, any department and uh, they create uh, this uh, maybe excel file or in this case we have this csv file they create this one so what they want us to do they want us uh, to read this file and uh, this has email address subject and body and send the email to uh, each of the record so how we can do that one so read uh, the records from a flat file we need uh, to use uh, the data flow task and inside the data flow task we will be using uh, the uh, flat file source so here we have flat file source and I'm going to make a connection with the file so let's make a connection to the file now we read these records let's go it has the uh, first uh, uh, column uh, columns are in the first row so that's fine and now there the records are read correctly go to advanced they all are gonna be work card 50 so that's fine with us and hit ok uh, now click on the column see all the columns are coming correctly next and now what is happening here from here we cannot loop through they are all read in one set so how we can loop through and send the email to each of the address so what we need to do here we need to save these records in some type of variable that we can loop through later and send the email to each of the address uh, that is given in each of the record so we are going to save the record set uh, the, the, uh, these records in the record set destination so what is the record set destination it will save the records in the memory and it will use the object type variable that, that we have to create for the record set destination so let's click here and uh, it is asking us provide the variable name so click here and if you see here uh, we do not have any object or variable right now it doesn't give us option to create a new variable here so what we have to do we have to go back and uh, go to variables and uh, here we have to create a, a variable we say email list variable and the type of this uh, variable has to has object type so it's a, a variable that can hold uh, uh, a set of records uh, a table that can has um, or uh, uh, multiple columns or even one column with multiple records so it, it is going to hold uh, us, our all of the records in the memory so we, we are gonna use this one now email list variable so we are all good uh, input columns whatever the columns we want to save here select all those columns and uh, that's it we are it, it is not giving us option uh, we are not outputting any records here so we are just saving the records in the object type variable now once the records are saved in the objective variable we have to come back here and we will be using for each loop container and then uh, we will use that object type variable here in the collections go here and here we will say for each ADO numerator and then we have to define the object type variable and here we will map uh, those columns to the each of the variable so each time it will read one row for us uh, and save in these variables so the first layer was email address and uh, we will, the next one was uh, subject and then third one was uh, the body of uh, that email email body all those are string so for each loop is going to loop through that object type variable each time it will read one record and uh, save uh, those uh, data points in these variables and inside the for each loop uh, what we can do we can use a uh, send mail task uh, and use those variables uh, to send the email we can uh, go to uh, send mail task and then we have to go to expressions uh, and inside the expressions uh, we can use uh, 
सी सी लाइन और फ्रॉम लाइन फ्रॉम लाइन विल बी मैप टू वो विल बी actually from uh, that's where we want to send from we that can be our maybe hard code value or maybe we can save that in variable as well the but next one will be two line so that's where we want to send the email and here we will use the email address and the in the next one we want to use the subject so let's find out subject here and this will be mapped to the subject variable uh right here and then uh, we have a body so whatever the body of uh, uh we are we are going to use the variable here so message is source uh, that will be our body so here we will be using uh, the email body so that's how what we will do uh it is the same property that do not have expression specified will be deleted from the okay that's fine and hit okay so right now i don't have a stm uh, send mail uh, test uh, protocol or uh, server setup so that's why it is giving me error uh, if i have to, you know uh, server i have to uh, make smtp connection here and uh, then uh, the error will be gone so i don't have a server that's why it's giving me error uh, but that's how what we will do in cases where we need uh, to read the data from different uh, sources uh, and then put uh, into the variable in the data flow task uh, we can use uh, the record set destination uh, if our data if uh, we do not want to do this way we can always do one thing we can read the data from the flat file put in sql server table and then use the execute sql task to save the data from uh, from sql server table to the object type variable and then use the for each loop container to loop through but uh, there will be an extra step if we can directly save the data to the object type variable why not so that's where uh, if you need to read the data from different sources and save into the uh, object type variable in the data flow task you will be using record set destination thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video